Hello everybody and welcome to the 23rd MSP Airport Update. So uh, before we get into the update, I first want to do a few quick announcements here. Uh, first of all, I want to thank Citrus Aviation and Red River Aviation for giving me a shout out in their latest episode of Model Aircraft News. Um, yeah, that one aired like two days ago, I want to say. And uh, they shouted me out in the Creator Spotlight section. And wow, I could not believe my eyes. It was uh, so nice of them to do that. I was kind of half paying attention and uh, all of a sudden I go to the Creator Spotlight section and I'm like, cool, who's it going to be this week? And uh, my channel pops up. <laughs> and um, it was basically like uh, a Pooh's reaction. This is going to be a Simpsons reference, so if you don't know what I mean, just it basically means I look surprised. But this is, uh, uh, I bas my face basically looked like a Pooh uh, from The Simpsons when uh, it was revealed that he had octuplets. So uh, I can show a little image of that face because that was probably how I look like. Uh, but seriously, I can't thank uh, Citrus Aviation and River Aviation enough for that. Um, there are two awesome channels here, and uh, I feature them as, as subscriber routes because I have subscriber routes with them, and uh, and it's it's just it's just so just so nice of them to uh, shout me out there. It, I mean, it really almost brought a t tear to my eye. Uh, and I appreciate all you guys out there so much, and um, your nice comments keep me going, and I, I really, I truly, honestly, really appreciate it. And I mean, it's hard to find words to express uh, my feelings, but just thank you, thank you guys so much for for the support, and uh, it really means a lot to me. Uh, but moving on from that, there, our second piece of news here. Uh, this is a trip announcement, and uh, finally got confirmation that this has been in the works for years really and it's been it's was first delayed by covid and it just kept on getting pushing pushed back but finally i would like to announce that um uh, our newest trip here on december something december 8th i think um december 8th through the 11th i'll be in tucson arizona so that's really cool uh we'll be flying american airlines down there american airlines from msp to phoenix on an a321 and then from Phoenix to Tucson on a 737. Uh, so that will be really cool. I do plan on doing a live stream on the aircraft. Um, so we'll see how that works. Um, but uh, these are all these are all subject to change depending on what happens. So I plan on doing a live stream in on the plane and in, and in Phoenix during our layover. But if our flight gets delayed, then I probably won't do a live stream in Phoenix just because we're not going to have a lot of time there. We have like about a two hour delay in Phoenix. But if that gets delayed, I probably won't do a stream just because I won't have enough time to. Uh, but I think that'll be really cool to do a live stream there. So uh, American Airlines uh, on the way down, and then we'll be flying direct on Sun Country on the way back on December 11th. I, I want to think, I think it's 11th. So uh, that Thursday through the su that Sunday of that week. So <laughs> I don't quite remember the dates uh, all correctly, but I will be in Tucson, Arizona for that weekend. Uh, super excited for that, uh, especially to maybe try to do some live streams on the plane. I've never done that before. I think that'll be super awesome. So, uh, hopefully that all works out as I am planning it to, but no guarantees there, but I will try my best to do all that. So just, uh, uh, just wanted to get that out there just announce it. So you're all, uh, weary that, uh, I will be trying to do this and uh, we'll see how how it works out so we'll be beginning the update here uh four minutes in already we'll begin here uh just rotated off the runway we have this united airlines 737 800 in the continental globe livery uh this is on the new stand new stand uh so this one uh just rotated and uh taken off for chicago hair and earlier arrived in from denver and so now we move into the terminal. Here we have the Delta Connection CRJ200. Uh, this one operated by SkyWest. This one, as you can see, it is in the old Comair livery. Uh, that is just because I ran out of CRJ200s here. So uh, we're just going to have to use this older livery. And I didn't see anyone react negatively to that last time I did it. Even though it is an inaccurate livery, I still sometimes have to do it here. Uh, just because I don't have the biggest Delta fleet ever. Uh, at least not big enough for MSP, really. Uh, it's, it's, we're working on the size here. We're, we're getting some new models in here, hopefully soon. So uh, we'll look forward to that. Uh, this one came in from a Rhinelander, and I'll be heading out to Iron Mountain, operated by SkyWest. 
And moving along here, we have the other two adult connection CRJ200s. We have uh, right here on the bottom of your screen, the Endeavor operated Delta Connection CRJ200 here. Uh, this one came in from La Crosse and it'll be heading out to Wausau, Wisconsin. Uh, then further back there, we have uh, this one, a SkyWest operated CRJ200. Uh, came in from International Falls and it'll be heading out to Aberdeen. Next up right here, uh, taxiing in, we have this Delta Connection CRJ700. Uh, this one is SkyWest operated, uh, came in from Columbus, Ohio. Uh, that's interesting, I've never really seen this aircraft uh, fly to Columbus, so that's a new one right there. And uh, this will be later heading out to South Bend, very interesting. And here we have our pair of Adult Connection CRJ900s, uh, not even using all three of them today, which is uh, probably a first, I think. Uh, normally I use uh, my other Shapeways custom Delta Connection CRJ900, uh, but today we will just be using uh, these two here, of course the Gemini version, we'll start with that one on the left there. Uh, this one is SkyWest Operated, came in from Madison Dane County, and we'll be heading out to Grand Forks. And our other aircraft here, our other CRJ900, other, also SkyWest Operated, this one came in from Milwaukee, Wisconsin, and it'll be heading out to Fort Wayne. And moving along right here, we have this Spirit Airbus 320. Uh, this one is filling in for a 320 Neo. Uh, but I don't have the A320. Uh, I pretty much stopped collecting uh, Spirit models uh, just in anticipation of maybe the JetBlue deal going through. And if so, then I won't get any more, obviously. But uh, I'm just going to pause until that gets decided. Uh, but of course, if it doesn't go along, then I will go back to buying more Spirit models. But uh, uh, for now, I will uh, be keeping this one in the A319, and I probably won't be adding on any more until the Spirit deal gets sorted out. Uh, unless there's something, uh, unless I guess maybe unless they release an A320 Neo, in which case that is an aircraft that I kind of need. But we'll see how it goes. I'm pretty happy with my current Spirit fleet of two aircraft, but we'll see if I want to add on uh, more to that in the future here. Uh, but this one came in from Atlanta, and uh, we'll be doing the turnaround heading back out there. All right, now moving along into the American Airlines gates. Uh, we'll start with this CR, or sorry, the 737-800 here. We got the CRJ behind it. But we'll start with the 737-800 here. Uh, this one came in from Charlotte Douglas, and this will be doing the turnaround and heading back out there. And then behind that one, we have the CR-7. Uh, this one is PSA operated, came in from a Washington DCA, and it'll be heading back out there. And moving along right here, we have the United A319. This is in the Evo blue livery. Uh, this one came in from Chicago O'Hare. Uh, just pulled into its gate, getting the bags loaded off, and we'll be doing the turnaround heading back out there. And then finally here for the E Concourse, we have the Alaska 737-900. Uh, this one came in from Seattle, Tacoma, and we'll be heading back out there, of course. And now moving into the Delta mainline gates in the F and G Concourse. So we're we'll getting here with this Delta 737-900 here. Uh, so when you came in from Miami, we'll be heading out to Portland. All right, here we have the Delta A321. Uh, this one came in from Bozeman, Montana, and uh, we'll be heading out to Denver later today. Moving along right here, we have the other Delta A321. Uh, this one in the Thank You livery. Uh, this one came in from LAX, and it will be heading out to Billings, Montana. Very interesting there. And a lousy camera angle for this one, as we have the Delta 737-200 in the breast cancer awareness livery, the old breast cancer awareness livery. Uh, this one came in from Atlanta, Hartsville, Jackson Airport, or Citrus Aviation's airport. Uh, shout out Citrus Aviation. Uh, and of course, we'll be heading back out there. Really nice to see there. Uh, this is a newer model uh, as well. Uh, it's only appeared in one or two MSP updates, uh, to my knowledge. So uh, really great to have it here, have a Delta 752, uh, even though it's not uh, current, up-to-date, uh, still very, very beautiful model here uh, by Gemini Jets, and uh, also quite a uh, quite, uh, also quite a rare one. So uh, love to see it. And speaking of rare models, uh, another lousy camera angle for this one. We have the Delta A319 here by Aero Classics. This one is cursed. I always have the bad camera angles for this aircraft. It's been like I've included this in like four or five MSP updates, and I swear four, three or four of them have had lousy camera angles. So. <laughs> <laughs> Apologies to uh, this uh, air, beautiful Aero Classics A319 here for Delta. It uh, doesn't deserve this kind of shampy treatment, but uh, you know what? It doesn't really matter, I guess, at this point. It's still being included in the airport updates. There are a lot of models uh, that uh, can't have that privilege here. So this one came in from Dallas-Fort Worth, 
and it'll be heading out to Austin, uh, so to Great Texas Rest, uh, Dallas-Fort Worth, DFW, also Red River Aviation Airport. And here is our next model here. Uh, I promise the lighting will improve after this, uh, but for now, this is just what we have. We have a uh, right here, 767-300, filling it for a 757-300, as I do not have that one. I could get the new Gemini version, but I'm kind of reluctant to, uh, just because uh, we get a lot more 752s here, and um, I mean, just money right now is a little bit tight, so uh, I think I'm gonna hold back on that one. Uh, for now, and we'll see, maybe it'll come Christmas time, uh, we'll see what happens with that one. But for now, we have this beautiful Delta 763, so we might as well enjoy it while we have it right here. This one came in from Orlando MCO, and we'll be heading out to Fort Myers. So a nice aircraft upgrade for those passengers, I guess. Um, yeah, that is that is quite the upgrade there. Even though a 753 is pretty big, 763 is just a little bit bigger. So, <laughs> I mean, you might as well. And uh, right here we have the beautiful Delta A330 by NG Models, a staple here for MSP. We got a lot of A330s. Uh, this one came in from London Heathrow or Milo's Aviation's airport. And uh, this one looks like it'll be staying here at MSP for two days and uh, on the 11th. All these flights are from uh, November 9th, by the way. And on November 11th, which I believe is the this video is coming out, uh, this will be heading out to Amsterdam. Now, never mind the fact that this is a Darren model, it won't be the only one here. I don't like using these, and I also do have a plan to replace this one. I will be getting a proper A350 model here in just a little bit. Uh, so this one hopefully won't have to stick around very much longer, but for now we have the Darren A350 here. Uh, so this one is the newly resumed route from Seoul, Seoul Incheon to uh, MSP. Apologies for the beep in the background. Uh, so this one came from Seoul Incheon, uh, and it'll be heading back out there, so great to see it. And also, it's great that it's, this is on an A350, because uh, the A350s were pretty absent from MSP uh, for, like, the past, well, really, since the Rona. So, uh, glad that they're back here uh, in this uh, Seoul Incheon route. Uh, we'd love to see it here. And also, uh, in the spring, uh, t Tokyo will resume, so also probably on, a, on an A350, so looking forward to that. And right here we have a Delta A220-300. Uh, another model I'll be getting is the Delta A220-100 that Gemini just released, so uh, look for, I'm looking forward to that. Uh, that is the model that I've been looking for for a while here. We got a lot, well, I guess Delta does have a lot more 100s, but that, so I would be excited that the MSP gets a lot more 100s and 300s. Uh, so looking forward to that, just having some more Delta models. Delta models are always in demand here. So uh, this one came in from Houston IH, and it will be heading out to Chicago O'Hare. And then finally here for Terminal 1, we have this Delta 737-900 here with split scimitar winglets. Uh, this is the NG Models version. version. <laughs> this one came in from Detroit, Michigan, and it'll be heading out to Los Angeles LAX. And so yeah, here is the other uh, Darren model. I do not have any proper models of Hawaiian aircraft, so that's something I'm probably going to have to get here in the future. But for now, we'll just use this Darren model as I don't really have any airports that I need a Hawaiian model for yet. Uh, but this, uh, this aircraft came in from Seattle, Tacoma, clearly on a charter, what, or at least a non-revenue flight. Uh, what I believe this is, is this is a Hawaiian A330 that has been converted into a Delta A330. I'm not positive on that, but if I had to guess that's what it, but that's what it would be. It came in from Kahului, or it came from Kahului to Seattle and then uh, from Seattle uh, to here, MSP. And uh, we'll see what, we'll do, what it will do here, but I'm not quite sure exactly why it is here, uh, but it makes sense that maybe they're converting it into a Delta A330. Uh, but uh, once again, I'm not quite sure on <laughs> why this is here. Um, so that's just, that's a little interesting there, a uh, unique flight uh, to say the least for that one. So uh, really nice to see that one. Uh, Hawaiian come here, they come here rarely, but I have seen it before. This is the second time that I've seen it uh, Hawaiian flight here, so uh, unique, but certainly interesting to see. Very nice to see here. So uh, glad that Hawaiian was able to send one of their aircraft over here to MSB, even if it was only temporarily. So uh, uh, just beautiful scenes. And just landed right here on uh, one two right. We have the Iceland Air Sun three seven and Max eight uh, in the new livery here by Gemini Jets. I uh, wanted to include this model in airport update uh, once again for a while now as I have not included it in an update for a little bit and uh, well it is now back here 
So this one just landed in from Reykjavik Keflavik. And of course, we're doing the true run heading back out there. I wouldn't be, uh, well, I would be pretty surprised if this wasn't heading back out to uh, Reykjavik Keflavik. Uh, it's a very fun airport name to say too. So we try to say Reykjavik Keflavik as much as possible here on this channel. So uh, of course, love to see it and a uh, very beautiful uh, model indeed here. And here we have another gorgeous Max 8. Uh, we have the Southwest Max 8 here. Uh, this one came in from Denver, and I'll be doing a turnaround heading back out there. Very nice indeed. And right up next here, we have the JetBlue A320 in the Forga livery. Uh, this one came in from Boston, and I'll be heading back out there. So it looks like JetBlue has upgraded uh, this flight to a some, or an A320 uh, from an A220. Uh, and also, I believe it was an E19, an E190 for a little bit, but it was mostly an A220. So now they have upgraded it uh, to an A320. So uh, that means that this model is slightly more accurate uh, for to fit this service here. So really great to see that. Uh, just nice to see a little uh, aircraft upgrade here on the Boston service. So it started off as an A320 when they first started flying here at MSP back in I want to say 2017 somewhere sometime around then um, and uh, then it was downgraded to an E190 and now it's back here on an A320 so really nice to see that. I just realized they're probably considering the time change this airport update should be taking place in the sunset or darker or even but uh, that I guess it's a bit too late to change that now but that you can just imagine it a little bit uh, but our next aircraft here I'm going to try to do the Sun Country lineup here all in one shot again although that takes like 10 attempts whenever I do it. So this is attempt one. We'll see if this makes it into the final video. We'll start here with this uh, Sun Country 737-800 uh, with no inlets in the old livery. Uh, came in from Harlingen and it'll be heading out to Sarasota. Moving on behind that one, we have this 737-800. Uh, this one is in the Tide Pod livery. The actual aircraft had the little 40th anniversary sticker on it. Uh, this one came in from Cancun, and it'll be heading out to Portland PDX also in the morning. Uh, also, these two flights, these first two, have been delayed, so uh, a little, I'm not sure why that is, but uh, at least that is not concerning the time for our airport update. That'll be in the morning, so uh, we'll just move past that. And finally, here we have the 737-700 here with the winglets, filling in for an 800 in the old livery. Came in from Phoenix Sky Harbor or River Aviations Airport. And it'll be heading back out there. So really nice to see there. And that only took one attempt. Let's go. And then, of course, finally moving into the cargo uh, apron here. We'll begin with this UPS 767-300 here. Uh, came in from Louisville. And it will be heading back out there. And here we have a FedEx MD-11. Uh, came in from Memphis, Tennessee. I'll be heading out to Indianapolis. <laughs> By the way, this was the 76. The actual aircraft was a 767 for this FedEx. MD-11, and uh, the UPS aircraft was actually an MD-11, so of course I have these two switched around, which I always have the models switched around here for FedEx and UPS, which is really frustrating. I mean, well, I guess it's not super frustrating, it's kind of comical actually, but this always happens for some reason uh, that I get the models flipped around here, so uh, I will try to get the, maybe the new uh, I always forget if it's I always forget if it's JC or Phoenix that released this one. Um, I always get the releases confused for some reason. But the new 767, the new FedEx 767 there, I will try to get that because they fly mostly the 767s here at MSP. And also I can probably try to get the uh, UPS 757. That's still around in a few places, and if I can get that, then I can also use that here because UPS has 767, MD11, and 757. Also the uh, 747 here uh, occasionally, so... Uh, we'll look to get the 757 here uh, and use it at MSP. Uh, but for now, I'm decently happy with my cargo fleet. Uh, I guess it can get a little bit bigger, uh, but I don't really have large cargo sections at any of my airports anyways, so uh, it's not that it really matters too much. And right here we have the DHL 737-800 uh, filling in for a 737-400 operated by Mesa Airlines. Uh, came in from Cincinnati. And we'll be heading back out there, and I've said this story many times, but uh, yeah, I, I got this model, this DHL uh, 737-800, uh, and it felt like right after that, DHL switched uh, these flights from 738s to 734s. So I got the wrong model there, clearly, and now I have this DHL 738, and I could have gotten a 734 from Panda, uh, but no. 
we just have this DHL 738, and I don't feel like getting uh, two DHL 737, so we're just gonna have to stick with the 738 for now. So yeah, this aircraft is in the exact same spot that it was in the last update. Uh, yes, I know, uh, this is just completely by chance. I was looking at the flight schedule and I saw this one. Uh, so that's really cool. I just, just, I did just, bleh, I did just stick it in the same spot that it was last time with the air stairs added, uh, for a little extra realism as I, as I didn't have that last time because I ran out of air stairs, but now I just went back to Legos because that's what a majority of the gates here are anyways. Uh, so this one came in from State College, uh, not quite sure which airport that is, it just says State College and doesn't specify which State College, uh, but the airport code is SCE, so not quite sure where exactly that is, but clearly a college uh, sports team charger, charter, probably a football team if I had to guess, uh, from wherever State College is, so uh, we've narrowed it down to the United States. So we're doing great here. And, well, this is the final aircraft for this update. So another Breeze Charter, love to see it. And a Hawaiian Charter, because uh, that was just clearly by chance. Uh, didn't expect to see these two aircraft here. So really nice to get into the update anyways. So yeah, that will conclude this update of MSP. Thank you all for checking it out. I know it was probably a longer one. I don't know the official full recording time of the intro and opening announcements took a long time. So. Uh, I mean, they're, they're for a good cause, so uh, once again, thank you to Citrus Aviation and Red River Aviation for the shout-out, and uh, that'll conclude this update, so I will see you tomorrow. As always, good night. Auf Wiedersehen.